Late Sunday night, Vice President Kamala Harris returned to Washington after a dizzying tour of swing states with her new running mate, Minnesota Governor Tim Walz. As new polling from the New York Times and Siena College show her pulling ahead in the key swing states of Michigan, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania, Harris is set to join President Biden on Thursday in an event in Maryland focused on the economy. It's the first significant joint event since she took over at the top of the ticket. Will we see you out on the campaign trail for Vice yes. President Harris? Yes, you will. In a sit-down interview with CBS News, President Biden explained his decision to drop out, saying his debate performance was becoming a distraction. He now says he plans to campaign on their behalf. I'm going to do whatever Kamala thinks I can do to help most. She's a chameleon. Trump's running mate, J.D. Vance, blasting Harris for being insincere and criticizing her for so far not agreeing to a sit-down interview. Harris says that she'll do an interview by the end of the month, but Vance isn't buying it. She should have to answer for why she presents a different set of policies to one audience and a different set of policies to another audience. And I think that's what President Trump is getting at. This is a fundamentally yeah. fake person. I think we're very, actually, I think we're the opposite of weird. They're weird. Trump is following up his Friday night rally in Montana with a live conversation with tech billionaire Elon Musk on Monday night, taking place on social media platform X. Last week, the nonprofit Center for Countering Digital Hate found Musk's posts about false or misleading election information reached more than a billion people. Trump is also planning a rally in North Carolina on Wednesday. And eliminate taxes on tips for service and hospitality workers. Meanwhile, the two candidates now share a tax policy after Harris called for the elimination of taxes on tips, something that Trump has been pushing at rallies for weeks. On Truth Social, Trump writing, she has no ideas, she could only steal from me. And also over the weekend, the Trump campaign says that they were hacked. A spokesperson for the campaign saying that a foreign source hostile to the U.S. illegally obtained Trump campaign documents. Now, Microsoft recently reported that Iranian operatives had ramped up their efforts to influence the race although it's still unclear who was behind the hack. In Washington, the Seven Kozlov, Spectrum News. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Let Spectrum News be your resource for balanced, in-depth political coverage. And click the subscribe button here. You can also download our app and watch us on TV to learn more about the candidates, where they stand on the issues, and more. We'll see you then.